My name is Professor Aileen Miller from the University of Manchester. I think I always wanted to be a chemist making new materials. I think when I was younger I spent quite a lot of time in my dad's greenhouse uh, playing around with iron filings and a little flame uh, to make things burn. Then I think that idea was cemented when I did a year of my undergraduate in the United States. I'm in a very small liberal arts college, so I had one-on-one -on -one, uh, tutoring uh, with a research professor where I spent a lot of time doing a research project and that inspired me to try to find out new things. I think one of the most exciting things I've ever done has been something that's come recently and that's creating a spin-out company from a university and that's directly led on from the research that I've done over the past 10 years. And that's where we've developed our material understanding, sort of from the fundamentals of molecular self-assembly through to bulk materials, where we're now selling our bulk materials for the research community, also incorporating that into two specific products for cardiac repair, where surgeons can actually then take our materials, inject them directly into the heart and regenerate new tissues uh, for cardiac repair, for regenerating uh, damaged tissues that have happened during heart attacks. Our materials are under trial in animals, so we've done uh, rats and dogs and pigs, and now we're creating our company to, do, to move forward and go to clinical trials. I think one of the hardest things I've ever done is actually coming back after my third maternity leave. I think I had my three children quite close together, and then coming back from the third time where I took nine months off was very difficult. I think leaving my children behind in nursery and school, and then coming back into the workplace um, full time. Um, and uh, trying to get back into the swing of things and be accepted again by my colleagues. So I think I got a lot of support obviously from my husband who's also an academic. My head of department was very supportive as well. He's allowed me to work flexibly as I want so everything is something work and home is a 24-7 balance so I work and balance my home life as I see fit which has been really beneficial and great. I think there's no such thing as a typical day in my job. It can vary. I can sometimes come in and do a lecture in the morning, then see some first-year undergraduate tutees, spend some time supporting them about their life in Manchester and also their, their work in chemical engineering. I can then spend some time with some PhD students talking about their research project, and then I can go away and meet with a company uh, to try to do some consulting or to do some problem solving for them in terms of the research. So I think every day is very varied, which is why I really enjoy uh, my job. I first started in uh, research in the University of Manchester 12 years ago and when I started I was very much interested in the physics of how molecules actually come together and self-assemble on the, the micro, the meso and the macroscopic length scale. And then slowly I realised that I can actually translate some of that understanding through material structure, material properties into applications. And one of the applications that we're working on at the moment is uh, regeneration of tissues from heart tissues all the way through to bone tissues. So where if you have a hairline fracture or a bone crack, instead of having to be wrapped up in a plaster cast for many weeks, we can actually inject our uh, jelly-like hydrogel directly into the bone fracture. And then that can become load-bearing within days where the cells that we've injected with our hydrogel regenerate the bone in situ. So then you can uh, use your uh, limbs, you can walk, you can use your arms within days rather than having to wait weeks. 